Hi guys, now as we continue, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make something like this. So while you're listening, also watch and learn. Hi guys, in today's episode, I'm going to be continuing with the basic fundamentals in mobile graphics design lesson. Now in the previous video, uh, in the previous video I treated the second category, which is the graphics design for personal use or monetization, under which I talked much about the copyright strikes and claims on graphics the rules that governs graphic design now in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys the right software the right softwares to use and in this category i cover the best softwares for graphics design on mobile devices both for personal and commercial purposes now if you haven't watched my video on the copyright rules governing graphics design be sure to check it out before watching this video link will be in the video's description below now if you have let's get down to it now a beautiful and professional design can also be achieved on mobile devices these days and if your creative skills is very good nobody can tell the difference from a graphics design on computers to that which you did on mobile it all comes down to your creative imagination skills and the right softwares for the job now, I'll be treating this topic in two categories. One, I'll be looking at the personal and two, I'll be looking at the commercial uh, graphics design. For this video, I'll be focusing on apps for logos, for logo designs, flyers, posters, photo manipulations and cover art. Now, for the first category, which is for personal use, I will recommend number one, the pix art. It has a vast feature that a professional graphics design app should have, but lacks the freedom to use for monetization or creating content for clients. From the email I got from their team after I inquired if I can use the app for commercial purposes, this is what I got. Obviously, the app is just intended for personal use, though I hate that policy, but what can I do? It's their prop. It's their property after all. Now secondly is the color app by PixArt. Now it have the same rules with the PixArt considering it's from the same um, developers. But really the PixArt app is really good. It's really 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 good. No doubt about it. It has a lot of features that is going to help you create professional logos and also carry out some, some amazing photo manipulations i'm going to be dropping some videos in my channel also sharing with you guys some manipulations you can do with the pix art and also designing some logos so that you can learn from my skills and also there are a lot of these uh uh for the photo manipulation skills out there on, on youtube you can go ahead and search them up and you can find out that really you pix art is really good i just wish they did not put that policy that hinders people from client or users from using it for client for monetization now totally is the canva app now canva offers you a ready to go template that is one thing i like about the app you can use it for logo designs but you can start from scratch just as with pix app it gives you a ready to go template you can just download and use for your project but but majority of this content are also not for commercial use, which makes them suitable only for personal use only. You can only use them for you know, for making uh, logos or images for your Facebook pages, Instagram pages, and also for friends, and also for social, just for your social accounts. I only consult Canva when I have a design project and I need design ideas. That is when I use Canva. Now. For the second category which is for commercial use now mind you there are other apps that you can use for uh, graphics design that is for personal use out there but based on the ones that i've tested i've tested a lot of graphics design apps i've tried to try a lot of apps on the play store and a lot of them do not offer what it's what is needed so these are the few ones that i have used and really they are good to go 
Now for commercial use, which is category two. Now, if you want to make graphics for clients, I will recommend using number one, Pixel Lab. It's so far the best professional graphics design app on mobile, just like the PixArt, but the, with the upside of freedom of use. Now I've made research online on the privacy policy that governs the Pixel Lab, but so far I couldn't uh, get any as to where users are restricted from using the app for commercial purposes. Now I don't know if there's any of such rules, but so far I've, I've not seen any. And a lot of mobile graphics designer designers out there use the Pix the Pixel Lab application. It's free to download on the Play Store, and the link will be in, in my description. Um, and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel today. And as I'll be making a separate video on each of these applications, showing you how to use them properly. Now, third on the list is the all-rounder commercial graphics app on mobile, which is the Photoshop Touch, or popularly known as the PS Touch. It's a mobile version of the Adobe Photoshop. It's pretty much the best app for commercial graphics design on mobile. Now, you can use this app and design a lot of things without the fear of any copyright claims as I know of. It's a bit difficult to master compared to the Pixel Lab and PixArt, but it's also very good with good with great features that you can use. So guys, that ends it for the best mobile applications for graphic design on Android phone. Now if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next episode. Pinus out. You are now living the shores of Pinus game space. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so we can grow together while certain trends with every new update.